Oops. There we go. Hello, everybody. Today, we are going to tackle Lesson 6. This is the Module 2, Lesson 6. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to build and decompose a kilogram to reason about the size and weight of 1 kilogram, 100 grams, and 1 gram. Now, remember what decompose means? When we talk about decompose with math, that really just means we're going to take it apart, break it down into little bits. So that's what we're going to do. First of all, let's talk about kilograms. Now, I need my pen. This is what we're going to talk about today. Kilograms. Now, exciting stuff. A kilogram is it's 2.2 pounds, so it's just a little over 2 pounds. So I'll give you an idea what 2 pounds is. This is a 2 pound bag of rice. Now obviously it's not very full, but if you can pick up a bag of rice, it's about 2 pounds, that's about how heavy a kilogram weighs. So you'll be able to tell what that feels like. Now, the thing I want you to know about kilograms is that it's a unit, okay? Just like inches are units. It's a unit of weight, okay? Which means, like pounds, like ounces, it tells us how heavy something is or how light something is. Now, this over here is a balanced scale. If I have one Kilogram, one bag of rice, it's one kilogram. What will happen to my scale? Well, it's going to look a lot like this, isn't it? The heavy side is going to go down. If I put another bag of rice that is exactly one kilogram over here, what will happen? They will stay balanced. And we know because this little dial will be right up the middle, won't it? It will not look like this. Okay. Now, whoops, we better erase that. One kilogram, well, this would be like a scale that shows one kilogram, is a thousand grams. Now, let's pretend that this is my bag of rice, this table right here. And if I break it apart, this whole thing is going to be one kilogram. But if I break it apart, I can put it into groups. This would be 100 grams. This would be 100 grams. This would be 100 grams. This whole thing, each little spot, each little portion of my 10 frame here would be 100 grams. Now, does that make sense? Hmm. As I'm writing this, Think about that. One kilogram is how many grams? Well, that's right, it's a thousand grams. Another way of saying a thousand is ten hundred, right? Do I have ten hundreds? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I sure do. I have one hundred grams in each section of my kilogram. So a thousand grams equals one kilogram. Now we've just decomposed it. We just took it apart. We just broke it into 100 gram sections. Now, if I were to take away one of these and I put it in a cup and I put, I make a cup Here's my handle. And I put my 100 grams of rice in my cup. And I put my and I put it on my scale. My scale instead of reading 1 kilogram is going to read 100 grams. But what would happen if I put my cup and my bag of rice over here on the scales? What would it be? How much would it weigh? That's right. 
it would still weigh 100 kilograms, plus a little more because we have to weigh the cup. But it's still going to be 100 kilograms. It doesn't matter if I take it, out, take it out of the bag and still put it on the scale or not. Just remember, when you go to weigh a cup, the cup weighs a little bit too. So you're going to go just a little bit over, which is okay. Now, I want you to look at something else. I'm going to erase this. This is a larger version of my bag of rice. So I took it apart, right? And I decomposed it. And each one of these segments was 100 grams. Here we go. Here we go. Going a little too fast for this computer, but that's okay. We're getting it figured out. We're doing a lot better today. Okay, 100 grams, and this was 100 grams, and we know that one kilogram, this is how you make it short so you don't have to write the whole thing out, equals a thousand grams. Now, can I take it apart even more? Absolutely I can. What if I do this? Oh, I just made a 10 frame inside of a 100 kilogram spot. Ooh, now I'm wondering if I can change my ink color. Yes, I want to go to green or blue. Blue is okay. Okay, if I break this up, this whole thing has to be 100 grams. So I'm dividing 100 by 10. So if I divide 100 by 10, what's another way of saying 100? That's 10 tens, right? So this would be 10 grams. This would be 10 grams. That's going to be 10 grams. And each one of these, because I'm going to make 10 tens, because that's still 100, right? Absolutely. Okay, now, because I broke it down into even smaller pieces, what has happened? I have shown decomposition. I broke it down even further. If you are asked to demonstrate something by decomposition, I want to, you to show me that you're breaking it down. See how I broke this down into even smaller pieces? Hmm, can I do it even more? I don't know, but I have an idea. What if I take one of these? Whoops, I didn't pick up my eraser. Pick up the eraser. And I erase one of these pieces. Oh, what am I doing? I'm breaking it down into even tinier units. Well, let's see. Here we go. Three, four, five. Wow. How many pieces are in this one segment? Ten, right? This is still ten grams. So how much are each of those segments? Well, let's see. I think I'm going to use black this time. Each one of these segments is one gram one gram because 10 can be divided into 10 groups of one. There we go. There are 10 in each of these. Now, the blue is 10 grams. I wonder how much the black would be. The black is one gram. Now, how heavy is one gram? That is a, that's just about the weight of one paper clip. So, if one gram is about one paper clip and one kilogram is a thousand, that would be like holding a bag of a thousand paper clips. If I break it up into even small, I can keep breaking one kilogram. This whole bag of rice here is one kilogram. I decomposed it into groups 
of one, kil one gram or 100 grams. Then I took 100 grams and I broke it down into 10 groups of 10 grams. Then I took one group of 10 grams and I broke it down even smaller into one gram each, didn't I? Into 10 pieces of one gram each. Now, this is showing decomposition. We started with one whole bag of rice. We broke it down. Then we broke it down somewhere and we broke it down even more. Remember that that is decomposition, taking it all apart. Okay, now, your practice problems are going to require you to explain this. So, you're going to have to explain in words how we broke down each of these things. If you need to refer back to this video, go ahead. Please complete your practice problems and return them to school tomorrow. See you tomorrow.